Hello, my name is Amy Parsons, and I am a graduate of Ball State University. I have my degree in secondary mathematics education. This is my fifth year teaching, but it's my second year at Riverside High School. I teach Math 10 and Algebra 1. In Algebra 1, we start studying equations, inequalities, relationships, and in this class, we also explore linear and quadratic functions. And this class, the importance of it is to help prepare our students for the SAT, which is now a requirement in Indiana for graduation. Now, my Math 10 class is a support class. They're taking this class in conjunction with either Geometry, maybe Algebra 2, sometimes Algebra 1, mostly Geometry, though. Um, and what we're able to do is we're going to be able to take some time on the basic foundations of mathematics, things that they will need, skills that they will need to be able to progress into harder geometry or harder algebra two. So we're able to study those and build stronger foundations so that they are more successful in their classes as they continue on through the mathematic curriculum that we have here at Riverside. Um, this is also going to help them if they are taking the I-STEP or the SAT. Um, so commonly, one of the things that I always get as a math teacher is, when am I ever going to use this? And I have to take a break and I stop and I say, you know, you may never use algebra again, and that's fine. But what about communication? when we have you communicate with one another or when you're trying to explain a problem to me. I'm teaching you how to communicate and working together when we do partner activities. I'm teaching you how to work with somebody. And also a big part of mathematics is problem solving skills. And I know the students hate it, but I let them struggle. I call it the productive struggle where they're trying to figure things out and you see those cogs turning in their head and I love that and I say, I'm teaching you how to problem solve and even more than that, I'm teaching you how to not give up when it gets hard. You know, you're gonna go into the career field one day and if you have a boss and you say, I can't do this, this is too much, you're doing too much and you throw in the towel, you know, I don't want that to happen to you. It is not a good life skill to have. So I'm teaching you now not to give up and to ask for help if you need it. Um, some of the things you can do as a parent to help your student is to check power school often. Um, make sure they're getting all of their assignments turned in, uh, make sure that they are on task um, and making their way through the curriculum and not falling behind. Now, if they are falling behind, Riverside offers some great resources that you can use um, to help your student. And one of them um, that I highly recommend that we encourage your student to do is to do office hours. Um, they can do one-on-one -on -one office hours. They can uh, just do a drop-in office hour. They just have a question on something. Um, they're always free to do that. And I know that I speak for the whole math department when I say that we are open door policy. You know, if I have a student in somebody else's class and they come to me, I am more than happy to help them even though I am not their teacher. So if one of my Math 10 students wants to go to their uh, geometry teacher with some Math 10 work, they would be more than happy to help them. So that gives us more flexibility as well. Um, and more opportunities for our students. Um, and just the last thing is keep in contact with your teachers. Um, if you, there is a question um, or there is something you wanna point out that we can help your student with um, or some tips and tricks since you know your student best, like we would be more than happy to accept those. All right, thank you.